Your goal in life might be a big house, a three-week trip to six or seven countries of your choice, or any other wild dream that has been nagging at you for years. As you grow, you realize you can't have what you want without money, and you can't have money without work. Naturally, you orient your thinking towards succeeding in your career, regardless of what your field is. You focus on advancing your work to get a higher paycheck or a more prestigious title. If you become a successful woman, you will hear a lot of questions about your work-life balance, your duty towards your home and your secret to having it all. While nobody asks men similar questions, it does not make men's duty towards their personal lives disappear. On the contrary, it only emphasizes how their relationships with family and friends are compromised in their search for glory and money. In the end, man or woman, succeeding in your professional life takes a lot from your personal one. It doesn't matter whether you have children or simply need time for your parents and siblings. Work will always take a toll on the people in your life if you allow it to Imagine yourself successful enough to be featured in a TV show. Everyone will be talking with and about you, with starry eyes, wishing they would be you, and asking you how you did it, hoping that maybe there is a chance for them. They will ask you how much money you paid to start a business, how hard you worked to get that promotion, or how much time and effort you put into your job, but they will never ask you what you suffered when you decided to put them in second place. Haters will blame you for your flaws and call you a bad parent and an irresponsible spouse. They will fish for details in your life and find where you failed to perform your duty towards your parents, friends and children. However, they care more about bashing you than about the truth which is why you should not give them any attention. It may be tempting to enjoy your success and rub it in their faces, but if you have become distant enough from the people in your life that you wreck your relationships with them, the last thing you will think about is people's opinion. You will want to rush back to friends and family and pay your debt to them, but in some cases it might be too late. Whether your achievement will give you fame, money or personal satisfaction, it will take a lot from your time and energy. In the corporate world, no one cares about what they leave behind at home. Rarely will you encounter a person who speaks or their spouse or kids in the workplace. After all, the corporate culture has ingrained in people's minds how unprofessional it is to show your concern about your home because it always demands that you put your job first. The next time you take a vacation or stay home for the weekend, reflect on what you do and why you do it. Remember how success will feel like when it is the only thing you have left. Reevaluate your balance. The thing about work-life balance is that is not a status. It is a constant process. A sick kid will tilt the scale towards home no less than an audit will force you into dropping everything to get to work. Every week, take an hour of your peaceful weekend morning to recap how the entire week went and which side of the scale was sacrificed. Don't torture yourself with guilt over imbalance and keep in mind that it is a perfectly normal part of life. Look on the bright side, represented in what you achieved in a specific week, and deal with drawbacks with an optimistic attitude rather than a disappointed one. That way, you will become more productive on both sides week after week and more satisfied with your overall lifestyle.